on y'all it's dg back with another video today we are going to be talking about around 50 new basketball shoes that have caught my eye over the past week starting with the book one in the orange halloween so we did get the black halloweens that released on october 30th um which is really nice actually but i do like you know more colors better i do think this orange one looks a little bit better than the black one, although the black one is a really good colorway for Halloween. I did order it on Sneakers app yesterday by the time that I'm recording this. So let me know first if you guys also ordered the black Halloween book ones. And second, which one you like better? Do you like the black version or the orange version? The book one is starting to become one of my favorite looking basketball shoes this past year um, because it is almost the end of the year. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this orange colorway. Here's a really good look at the Scoot 2 in the 2K colorway. Okay, so it's a mismatch. This is a pretty good colorway. Again, I did talk about this shoe last week. But the main standout for me is that the cushion looks like it's it's really compressing, which is a little bit different from the Scoot Zero because the Scoot Zero just felt super stiff, materials, cushion, all of that stuff for me personally. So yeah, these, these are kind of growing on me. Um, this 2K colorway is really wild. It's crazy. I think it's, you know, fun. This is Tyler Hero in a red, like a Ronald McDonald. Uh, Sabrina 2 Nike Bayou. These, I mean, these are clean. He's been playing in the Sabrina 2 a lot, has a lot of Nike IDs. If you guys don't know, Tyler Hero is signed to Nike. He just doesn't have player exclusives. Um, the people who get player exclusives are very well established in the league, by the way, um, or like have a lot of uh, buzz around them or popularity. So Tyler Hero is not there yet, but he is signed to Nike. He has a deal with them. So obviously he gets free shoes. Um, from Nike. So let me know what you guys think of these. Here we have a good look from Slam of the Luca 3 El Matador. I did see these in person. I don't really like them that much. I think this photo looks, you know, really good because of the photography. But in person, I'm not too big of a fan of this colorway. Yeah, for the Matador Luca 3s, I'm not too, you know, feeling them that much. But leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Luca 3 is a solid shoe for sure. I actually feel confident in that shoe over other shoes, um, which is actually saying a lot because I actually play in a lot of basketball shoes. But, you know, it's a pretty average shoe and nothing too special. But let me know what you guys think of these. Spider-Man Tatum 3. So if you guys don't know, Spider-Man or uh, Sony has a has like rights for Jordan Brand or Jordan Brand has rights to Sony. They have done Spider-Man collabs in the past on the Jordan 1, but they did it on the, on the Tatum 3. Oh my gosh, I hope... I don't know if these are going to release probably not but i need these so bad it's actually crazy these are just so tough uh spider-man is just yeah he's just or the movies are just amazing so let me know what you guys think of these kd 17 pe right here this is one of the better colorways of the model i'm not sure if this is going to release i hope it does but i doubt it um but this is a really good color it's like a galaxy type of vibe Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys are playing in the 17. I feel like, you know, as the year progresses, more and more people start playing in the 17, especially as they go on sale. Um, I did review this shoe when it first came out and yeah, I really liked it. It was a solid shoe, pretty derivative of the past two models. Besides the fit, I do think the fit was a little bit different in terms of the last, but let me know what you guys think of these. KD4 Christmas coppers are coming back this holiday season. So, by the time you're watching this next month, I, or it might release this month in November, but yeah, KD4 Christmas coming back. These are tough guys. I will be getting a pair, like I said, in, in my um, KD4 on Pro review, if you guys haven't watched that, it's really nice that Nike Basketball is giving us all of these older, you know, classic KD colorways. So really excited for these to return. Here's a really good look at the Way of Wade 11 statue. So the statue colorway of the WoW 11 is really nice. That gold pops like crazy and the packaging is also wild. I will be purchasing a pair. I think they will cost 250, but I, I mean, Dwayne Wade is one of the best players um, at the two guard at least. And obviously he's, yeah. If you guys haven't watched D Wade in his prime, like he was, yeah, he was him. So this is a really good colorway I will be purchasing. And I can't wait to play in these. Now, the statue itself, if you guys have seen the statue of Dwayne Wade in Miami, it just, yeah, 
I don't know who designed it um, or even approved it, but yeah, I don't like I, it. Doesn't look like him at all. Anthony Simons on the Portland Trailblazers. He did mimic the Kobe 5 black toe colorway that Anthony Davis was wearing as a PE, like in the bubble, I think. But these are clean. These are clean. I don't know why I didn't think of making this one, but I really do like it. It is really nice. Leave a comment down below. I feel like some people would would um, make these again. Or yeah, I, I might actually consider making this or maybe changing the color from like from red to blue or something like that. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think. So this is a really grainy photo, but it is super new. This is the Luca 3 in the UNC Tobacco Road PE. The reason why um, I know the name of it is because the Luca 2 had literally the same exact PE and it was called Tobacco Road. So they did it on the Luca 3s and these are kind of crazy. Although the Luca 2s in this colorway look better in my opinion, but yeah, this is exclusive to UNC. So yeah, it'll be hard to find a pair unless the women's team sells or the men's team sells their pairs. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. This is an Air Jordan 39 PE for a player in the Philippines. This is so tough. I hope these release, but I doubt it. I think it's going to stay a player exclusive because Jordan Brand did say at the beginning of the year that the Jordan 39 is only releasing in nine retail colorways and they basically look the same. Like they're pretty much derivative. Like if you guys look at the colorways, you'll know what I'm talking about, but they basically look the same. I talked about in this channel many times, but this colorway is tough. I mean, there's a lot of PEs in the NBA as well. The 39 Paulo Branchero we'll talk about in this video, but there's just so many potential great colorways. I don't know why Jordan brand didn't like release these or release any other PEs. Um, I know we got the Guo PEs, but those pretty much look the same as everything else. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway right here. This is the Way of Wade 11 Mint. These are also really clean. I do like it. Um, I'll say this again, guys, because I feel like a lot of y'all like watch one video and then don't watch the next one. But the Way of Wade 11, I've reviewed the shoe, I think twice on this channel already, like separate videos. And the main difference between these and the 10 is that these just are, they're just bigger. I don't know what it is. They're not as streamlined, okay? so. Um, when we're comparing the WoW 10, you know, mint versus this one, I think a lot of people would lean towards the WoW 10 mint. Um, but these, you know, the colorway is well executed, so hopefully I'll be able to get a pair. This is a Zion 3 in a PE, you know, exclusive right here. I did talk about it last week, but these are pretty clean. Um, Zion 3, not the best performer. I'm going to keep it at that traction. They kind of ruined the aesthetics they got on point like honestly aesthetically these are like a 10 out of 10 but you know they pretty much messed up the fit the cushion and the traction which is uh the most important things in a basketball shoe new balance two-way five jamal murray pe's let me know what you guys think of these very good shoe i did review this on this channel I'm not going to spend 20 minutes talking about it but it is a good colorway it do i think this shoe does depend on the colorway guys so make sure if you are getting this shoe um, you know, look at the colorways because some colorways look way better than others. And, but this is a really solid shoe for the for the price point. And the cushion is very good as well. KD4 MVP Retro. These are tough. I mean, this is a retro because it's a older shoe, but the colorway is completely new. Just basically like a Kobe 5 X-Ray, like it's a retro of an old shoe, but um, it's a different new colorway. These are cool. These remind me of a Warriors colorway, so I will be getting them. And um, yeah, I mean, this is dedicated to his mom, his famous MVP speech where he was, you know, tearing up, um, you know, dedicating his MVP to his mother. So these are really tough. There is also a blue alternate version as well. So I will be getting both. But let me know what you guys think of these. This is a brand new Jaw 2 colorway. I don't like these at all. Honestly, I don't like how it's, um, you know, these this like outline of the swoosh, like these lines on the lateral side. I don't like that at all. I wish they just kept it like a blank canvas. Um, but even even if they did that, I don't like the colorway. I think, yeah, I don't really like it at all. So let me know what you guys think. This is a new LeBron Witness 8 colorway right here for the I Promise School. Um, one of the better colorways of the model. I feel like a lot of people wear these. 
not this colorway, but like the model itself. I feel like it's pretty popular. It's affordable. It looks durable. Um, and yeah, if you play outdoors, this might be a good option. I've never played in this shoe before, by the way, but um, I would assume it's like a durable option. Speaking of the book one Halloweens that we talked about in the beginning of the video, this is the Black Bear. I did order this one, so I'm very excited to get these in. And yeah, these, these just are versatile shoe guys. Like this is something that I would wear on or off the court. So even if you don't like them on the court, you can still wear them. You know, you don't, you know, just wear whatever you want at this point. Um, we're all going to die anyway. So might as well just wear what you want. This is a brand new jaw 2 PE. It looks to be like a Christmas type of colorway. So I wouldn't be mad if this was the jaw 2 Christmas, but really excited if these release, um, this is what I'm talking about. I like the smooth kind of design not with the ridges if that makes sense but let me know what you guys think of this green jaw too right here new balance fresh foam bb v3 these look pretty good these really do blend lifestyle and performance it does look like a hiking or casual shoe but it does look optimized for performance obviously it is a basketball shoe so i do like you know new balance is kind of pushing the brown boundary a little bit and these look solid. These look, you know, these look cool. I like, I like the shape. I like the structure, you know, the fresh foam, you know, twos were really good as a performer and they honestly looked great as well. So these, yeah, I do like these. This Volt colorway is much better in my opinion. I do like these a lot. So shout out to New Balance. This is the Kobe 5 Pro Tro in the Transformers colorway. I'm like 99% sure this is a grade school version because it doesn't look like a men's version. Um, and if you guys don't know Kixa Luo Luo 2, he has never been wrong on a leak, like ever. He's been doing this for like three to four years. I've been talking about him on this channel for a while and every leak that he does always comes true. So I'm pretty sure this is like a, like a grade school version because I'd be surprised if this was like a men's version. I think it would be pushing the boundary just a little bit in terms of colorways, but um, let me know what you guys think. This is a brand new colorway of the Harden Volume 8s right here. Um, these are tough. These are tough. I, I don't know if these, I feel like these are PE though, because anything with like extra details on, um, on like a Harden shoe, we just never get lately at least. Um, or they're overseas versions, like a China exclusive or something like that. But yeah, I would definitely cop these because they're just wild. I do like the pan leather on the toe as well, but leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys are playing in the Harden Volume 8. Ja 2 Valentines. These, these are kind of crazy. Um, I feel like they could have used a different shade of pink on the front portion of the shoe though to match the hearts, if that makes sense. Because, or maybe, I don't know. Do you guys like the sa salmon pink on the on the front of the shoe versus like the very bright pink on the back like i understand they're trying to do like a two-tone thing but i don't know i feel like if they use like a lighter shade of pink on the front it would look a lot better but let me know what you guys think this is a a wild colorway i don't think it'll be too popular just because it's not too clean but i do anticipate a lot of people getting these. i believe this is miles bridges or someone wearing the pg4 gatorade so this is not a new shoe but in the series i like to talk about just all basketball shoes most of the time or even casual shoes but these are one of the craziest fitting shoes of all time they fit like a size small um, and some people just skipped out on the shoe completely because even going a uh, full size up did not fit so yeah let me know what you guys think this is a great colorway i remember really wanting these but then i played in the purple gatorades and didn't really like them that much so let me know what you guys think six pro tro pe i believe this was either for devin booker or pj tucker but someone else is wearing it in the league i think it was ron holland i actually am not sure but basically someone sold these and then an nba player bought it but yeah i wish you know my wish is that nikes or that nike kobe sixes can go on nike id uh, but i don't think that's ever going to happen again um, because it would basically just eliminate pretty much every other basketball shoe in the market um, because everyone would just like design their own Kobe's and stuff and then no one would be able to buy Sabrina's or books or some stuff like that if that makes sense um, so let me know what you guys think Curry Fox one in the uh, I believe Cypress Lake which is this high school let me know what you guys think it looks to be very similar to the Curry one low Flotro at least so I don't think these shoes are gonna be 
um, anything too crazy, but at the same time, they're probably gonna be really good performers, so can't complain. This is a new colorway of the Zoom Freak 6, not liking it that much. This is supposed to be the All City 13. I'm gonna say this straight up. I think, I think Wave Void missed on this one. I don't like these in terms of looks, like the back kinda creeps me out. The back kinda creeps me out, like that big hole is just, uh, I don't really like it. Um, the side, I don't really like. Maybe in different colorways, these will look cool. Um, but aesthetically, I'm not too big of a fan of this colorway, at least. But leave a comment down below. This is supposed to be the All City 13. Paulo Branchero in the Jordan 39 Peanut Butter and Jelly, where he scored 50 points. First player to score 50 this NBA season. Jordan 39. A lot of players are wearing these shoes. Um, they're all signed to Jordan brand, but like it's actually a good sign that... Um, all of them are actually wearing the Jordan 39 because in the past they may switch between models, stuff like that. But like people are actually playing in these. I'm actually a big fan of the Air Jordan 39. Please watch my review that I posted almost three months ago now. But basically the one downside to this shoe is the stability. Um, it's not the most low to the ground and it's not the most uh, stable shoe. So if you are a very shifty player, I'm not sure if you'll like these because it is a little bit rounded. It kind of reminds me of the Kyrie's a little bit. Um, and a lot of people may not like it, to be quite honest. But if you're just like a kind of a standstill, simple type of player, then you may like these a lot. Donovan Klingon of the Portland Trailblazers has the KD-17 on pearls. These look a lot better than in the images. I feel like these will look a lot better in person, on feet, stuff like that. So these are definitely going to get copped. I will be getting these. I'm not sure the release date, I, I would assume in like two to three weeks, but these are really tough. Yeah, these are really, really tough. Let me know what you guys think of these. Arden Volume 9 in this Frozone Glacier Blue Icy colorway. These are crazy. These look much better than the 8s to me, at least. It looks way better than the 8s. I feel like they incorporated such a, like a cool design. I feel like the 8s were just, I, I don't like the... I don't know, the caging on the medial lateral sides, but these, these are dope. So let me know what you guys think of these. LeBron 22 PE's triple white. I believe the swoosh has purple in it. I would definitely wear these. These are just clean. So um, these are supposed to, or not this colorway, but the actual um, LeBron 22 is supposed to release. I actually got a pair for um, Chris wear testers to review hopefully in time. I did see them at my local shoe palace and um, I shipped a pair out to him. So hopefully his channel is able to review that. But let me know what you guys think. I'll be getting them just on Nike. So let me know what you guys think of these. Another Air Jordan 39 PE for Paolo. Yeah, hopefully they release these PEs, man. I don't wanna talk about it too much, but these are just so much better than the, than the colorways that we are getting for retail. Dame 9 in this black, purple, kind of, you know, very dark blue colorway super tough super tough this reminds me of like a sacramento kings colorway um but dame nine one of the best shoes of the year um i feel like it's not for everyone though it's it's just kind of like it's not the most minimal shoe but it is a really good performer book one eybl i'm not sure who is wearing this in the league but it's a really good shoe i feel like yeah people just need to realize that the book one's a good shoe and i feel like a lot of people are warming up to that idea I said this when I first reviewed it in February, um, and now it's almost 2025. So I've been saying this for a long time, guys. It's a good shoe. So don't just hate on it because of the looks, because honestly, the looks have grown on a lot of people, and um, I knew people would switch up. So hopefully, you know, if you don't like them, hopefully you can try a pair, see if you like them then. But they're a really good, solid shoe. It's not the best shoe in the world, but it's a solid shoe. GT Cut 3 Blue um, Mist is what I'm calling it. Um, these are these are clean. One of the best colorways with GT Cup 3 for sure. Um, and the shoe is a really good performer. I reviewed this when it first came out, I think like a week early as well. And I put the shoe to the test, guys. My pair was like beat by the time I was done filming. So let me know what you guys think of these. Jaw 2 Foundation. This is supposed to release soon on Nike. I don't really like this shoe too, or I don't like this colorway too much. I do think the shoe is good. I would recommend going up half a size if you are a wide footer. Um, they, they actually fit way better up half a size it's actually insane how much better they fit for me at least but let me know if you guys want me to review this simple foundation colorway i'm not feeling them too much especially since i just bought the um the jaw 2 in the halloween colorway 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. A new PE for Pascal Siakam. This is a KD 17. So if you guys don't know, Pascal only hoops in KDs. Like that's his only shoe. Um, and he's been doing that since like the KD 12. So for the past five years, he's been playing in the in the KD line. But these are tough guys. Without the, I would, I wish these were on Nike ID. I, it's kind of confusing as to why the Freak 6 and the KD 17 is not on Nike ID this year. But we only got the Sabrina 2. So that's kind of sad, Nike. Come on. I wish we had more Nike ID options. This is called the 305 colorway, I believe, of the LeBron 22. I believe 305 is the area code for Cleveland, or at least Akron. So let me know what you guys think. These, I wish they made the the reds darker. I think that would have looked a lot better, but these are clean nonetheless. This is the book one in the Kentucky PE for the 1996 championship. Like I said, book one has so many great colorways. If this was on Nike ID, I'd make a lot of pairs of these. But yeah, these are tough. Let me know what you guys think. New colorway again of the BBV3s. Uh, I'm not feeling this one. I'm not feeling this one. I think it looks kind of weird. It looks like a muscle, like from science class or something like that. So I don't really like it. New GT Cut Academy reminds me of a South Beach colorway. KD17 Dukes. These look exactly the same as the as the penny colorway. So I'm not feeling them at all. Um, yeah, I, these look pretty much the same. Braun 22 Lakers. Honestly, I would get these if they if they released. I feel like this, what happened to team colorways? They need to release more team colorways that represent the team that the player's on. I say this like every other video. Um, they need to just release, you know, team classic colorways, nothing too crazy. Doesn't have to have a huge inspiration, just represents the team colors. And I'm not a Lakers fan, but I do like this color scheme. I think it looks clean. Luca 3 Imaginarium. I will be buying this pair, guys. So um, I do like the Luca 3 overall. Again, I said this in the earlier in the video, but this is a really, it's a cool colorway. I wish that instead of black, they used white on the upper and the laces and stuff like that. I think white would have looked a lot better than black on this shoe, but let me know what you guys think. Jordan Hair 1. So I'm actually playing in this shoe right now. I actually bought this Peach Jam pair, which is the the orange one, but it's a, honestly, it should have been the Luka 3. This shoe should have been the Luka 3. I'm going to make a separate video on this shoe, but it should have been the Luka 3 in terms of looks. And the only, so if they combined the Hair 1 with the Luka 3, that should have been the Luka 3. So the Luka 3 should have looked like this. It should have had the drop-in Kushlon midsole. And then they should have changed the midsole on this shoe to um, be Kushlon as well, like the Luka 3. So you piece everything that I said together, that would have been a really good Luka 3 because this shoe looks better than Luka 3. Um, and honestly, I feel like more people would like this shoe over the Luka 3. It's actually a solid shoe. Speaking of the Luka 3, this is the um, Safari colorway. Honestly, I'm not too mad at it. It looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, I do like the pink colorway a lot better. LeBron 22 GS, this is like a gold copper colorway made for the kids. So let me know what you guys think. So out of all the hoop shoes we talked about, leave a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. I'm really excited for these KD17 Aunt Pearls. Um, hopefully they release in the next few weeks. Harden Volume 9. These look good, guys. These look a lot better. Obviously, it looks low-key the same, like the shape and, you know, the one booty construction upper, but these look a lot better than the eights in my opinion. So leave a comment down below and let me know. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. The Tatum 3 in the Spider-Man colorway is, in my opinion, shoe of the video. Hopefully these release. I doubt it, but yeah um these are just self-explanatory so leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of all of these hoop shoes thank you guys so much for watching make sure to comment like subscribe letting me know your favorite and i will catch you guys in the next one peace